My name is Jaylene Press. And I'm Madison Radis. And, and this, this is your Bobcat, Bobcat News. The homecoming game is Friday, October 13th, and the homecoming dance is Saturday, October 14th, here at Boca High. Yes, and to make sure we all stay safe, please be responsible and don't drink and drive. Hey guys, this week we're here to get our next raft winner. Let's go get him. With the bobcat. <laughs> Hello! We are here to get our raft winner this week. Lars? Who's Lars? Lars over there. Lars? <laughs> Lars, raise your hand, Lars. Lars! Ah, nice to meet you, Lars. Here's your gift card for being respectful, accountable, and proud of the school. Thank you, Lars. Thank you. Yeah, high five. Keep it up. Hey! <laughs> We're here to get our next raft winner. Hello, it's Hi. Bobcat Raph. Everybody, can we get our winner? Yes. Daisy. <laughs> Daisy. Congratulations, week. Daisy. Daisy is the most respectful, accountable student you could ever see. She bought me flowers yesterday, actually. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you later, Daisy. Bye. We hope you enjoyed our Bobcat Pep Rally show. And if you were not there, please feel free to watch it anytime on our channel. Hey Maddie, are you looking to volunteer? I so am. I heard there was a Tipper Tech Golf Championship. Yes, there is. And they're looking for volunteers from October 30th to November 5th at Broken Town, Boca Raton. We, we should, should go. Hey, are you going to homecoming? Yeah, I am. Are you? I am. Bobcats, Bobcats if, if you're, you're going, going to homecoming, homecoming, make sure you're safe and responsible. Don't drink and drive. Are you asking for a letter of recommendation? If so, make sure that teacher knows you well. If not, make sure to check out our QR code. Now, let's take a look into our sports. The football team won against Spanish River 16-7 Friday night. Yes, they did. Good job. <laughs> That's our rival school. Mark your calendars. Monday, October 16th is the first day boys soccer child to be there. Yes, and make sure your activate is all completed. This Monday was our boys and girls bowling senior night. We won 9-0 against Boyan. Good job, everyone. Hi, I'm Greg Lasher, and I'm a geometry teacher at Boca Raton High School. I use my sense of humor to try to keep the students engaged. Most of the time the jokes aren't very good. You got it correct? Yeah. Alright, that's two bonus points for you. Okay, just like that. Even the really bad jokes are funny because they're that bad. One negative four. Let's see if it's in the right place when we plot it. It's really fun to watch the light bulb go off when they when they finally figure out how to do something. Okay, so write down your answer for D. When a student says, when am I ever going to use this in life, when it's related to geometry every single day, you're always going to have a problem that arises that you never had before in life, and geometry teaches you how to problem solve. I want to go to a blank. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Surprise, you yeah. are the district's Think a Teacher winner. He really goes above and beyond to make sure that the students do understand the concepts, and he just has a unique way of connecting with students. He's always like making these dad jokes, but it's actually so funny because, like, you have fun of geometry. What did the acorn say when he grew up? Geometry. <laughs> <laughs> Is you. All right, 
right, welcome to this special edition of Jeopardy in celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. I am your host, Dre Sloan. Let's meet our contestants today. First, we have Miss Albano. Say hello. Hello. And we have Miss Dominguez. Hi. And Mr. Pope. Hello. And finally, our fourth contestant, Miss Suarez. Hello. All right, we're going to get our game started here with Miss Albano. You can go ahead and make a selection and a category. Let's begin. Holidays 400. Holidays 400. This is the month that the Mexican holiday. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure who just won there. Mr. Pope, is that? No, you? she did. Okay, Miss Suarez. What uh, is your answer? The, um, September, October. Are you being twice? Go. Yeah, can we ring the same time? What is... November. What is November? What is November? <gasps> what Ooh, is um, November? November 2nd. November 2nd. Very nice. November 1st and 2nd. It's coming okay. up. Okay, Ms. Suarez, go ahead and pick another selection. Oh, yes. Okay, Fun Facts 300, please. Fun Facts 300. This is the state in the U.S. with the largest Hispanic <laughs> population. Ms. Albano. <laughs> what is Texas. What is Texas? I'm afraid that isn't correct. Uh, what is New Mexico? Yes. <laughs> okay, Mr. Dominguez, <clears throat> category. Um, holidays and celebrations for 200. Holidays and celebrations for 200. This traditional six-pointed paper in the face. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pope. No, she had it. Oh, Mr. Dominguez. Yeah, you can't hear her button. Piñata? It was Ms. Suarez. What is Piñata? What hey. is it? <laughs> All right, new selection. Um, fun facts 400, please. Fun facts 400. These two players are considered the kings of soccer and the best ever. Miss Suarez again. Messi. And Maradona. One. Messi and Maradona uh. were close. <laughs> Messi, and uh, Maradona, and Pele. 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 Very good. <laughs> All right, Mr. Pope, go ahead and take it away. Uh, general knowledge for 300. General knowledge for 300. What does Ropa <laughs> yeah, mean in English? Okay, oh, we'll like the fastest is. one there. We'll go with Ms. Albano. What is old clothes? What is old clothes? That is correct. That is correct. What is it? Please make a Sandwich. second selection here. <laughs> uh, famous people, 500. Famous people Ooh. for 500. This president started the process for celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month uh, in 1968. Mr. Suarez. Who is Johnson? Who is Johnson? Hey. That is hey. 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 Johnson. Go ahead, Mr. Suarez. Um, yes, one. fun facts 100, please. Fun facts for 100. What South American country has the most World Cup wins? Ms. Albano again. Or no. excuse me, Ms. Suarez. <laughs> Brazil. Of course. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Make another selection, Ms. Suarez. Okay. Um, fun facts. Um, 200. Fun facts 200. This Spanish name nocturnal animal moves slowly because of its armor. <laughs> Wow, Ms. Suarez, once again. What fast. Yeah. Uh, armadillo? What is an armadillo? Is. <laughs> what is an oh, armadillo? That is go. correct. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ms. Suarez again. Like, we'll make, like this. Slide. We're going to be like this. It's going to ring first. Yeah. Don't think of the answer. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what's left. Okay. Um, fun facts 500. Fun facts oh, wow. 500. Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated on this day each year, Miss Albano. What is September 15th? What is September 15th? Yeah, we'll there you take go. That. Very nice. All right, Miss Albano, you get to select again. Boca High Latino Life 400. All right, Boca High Latino Life for 400. In what year did we celebrate a Latino valedictorian and what were their names? One of them played yeah. volleyball. I'll take one or two. Anyone, anyone? Pass? All right, that's a pass. 
The correct answer is mm -hmm. Mobile Day, Tori, Lauren, Mignon, and Natalie Navarrete. Yeah, who's a solid player. Very good. 18 minutes. Okay, back to the grid. We'll go with Mr. Pope. I'll take general knowledge for 200. General knowledge for 200. She was the first Hispanic woman in space. Tough one. Mm -hmm. Any takers? Nope. Okay, the correct answer is Ellen Ochoa. All right, Mr. Pope, we'll let you go again. General knowledge for 400. General knowledge for 400. The name for a popular Spanish version of a soap opera. <laughs> Who got that first? Dominguez. Ms. Dominguez. Novela. What is a telenovela? That is correct. Close enough. Very good. Ms. Dominguez, your choice. Um, let's do famous people for 100. Famous people for 100. This performer was the first Cuban born entertainer to star. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> it was a baseball. Oh, Mr. Pope? Okay. <laughs> who got it first? Desi Arnaz. The what is, who is Desi Arnaz? Who is Desi uh, Arnaz? That is correct, Mr. Pope. Oh, that old. All right, your selection. Uh, holiday celebrations for 300. Holiday celebrations for 300. This South American holiday is a tradition of putting a love letter in a pot of basil to conjure love. This is also known as uh, Miss Albano. Valentine's Day. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. That is correct. Very good. Your selection again. Uh, Latino Life, Boca High, 500. Latino Life, Boca High, 500. What Latin American country, music, culture, and dance is best represented at Boca High, Mr. Dominguez? Brazilian. The correct answer is, of course, Brazil. Very nice. Mr. Dominguez. Um, let's do holidays and celebrations for 500. Holiday celebrations for 500. Central American countries all celebrate Independence Day. On which date? <laughs> Ms. Suarez. Um, oh, September 15th. September 15th? What mm -hmm. is Ooh. September 15th? Well done. 16. Your selection mm -hmm. once again. Um, famous people 400, please. Famous people for 400. This coach was the first Hispanic coach in the National Football League in 1967 when he coached the New Orleans Saints. Mm -hmm. Tough no one. Idea. Any takers? Mm -mm. Correct answer mm -hmm. is... What is Tom Beers? Tough one, tough one. Okay, back to the board, Ms. Suarez. Go ahead uh, and select again. Famous people for 300, please. Famous people for 300. The first Latina associate judge chose to the U.S. Supreme Court. Yes, sir, Mr. Pope. Uh, who is Sotomayor? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Sotomayor. Well done, Mr. Pope. Your choice. Uh, famous people for 200. Famous people for 200. This musician was the first Latino inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1998. Miss Albano. Who I guess? It was Santana. Who is? Hey! Santana. Great job. Good. Hi, right, Miss Albano. You're up. Um, Holiday celebrations for 100. Holiday celebrations for 100. This celebration commemorates the Mexican Army victory. Oh, Mr. Pope, I think we're first. Cinco de Mayo. Correct answer is Cinco Ooh. de Mayo. That is correct. Mr. Pope, your choice. Uh, general knowledge for 500. General knowledge, Ooh. 500. Basketball player, Manu Ginobili. Oh, I knew that would happen, Ms. Suarez. Argentina. The correct answer, of course, is Argentina. Well done. All right, Ms. Suarez, you're on the board. Uh, general knowledge, 100. General knowledge, 100. This reptile is in the... Oh. I want to say Ms. Suarez, I believe. I think it was Ms. Albano. Ms. Albano? Okay, mm -hmm. Ms. Albano. What is a snake? There it is. <laughs> what is a snake? Thank you for that. All right, your selection, Ms. Albano. Oh, uh, Latino Life 300. Latino Life for 300. Which of these teachers boasts of being the best salsa dancer on campus? <laughs> Ms. Albano. I'm going to say Marcelo Castillo. Opa, the correct answer is. Close. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's right. <laughs> Okay, let's have uh, Mr. Pope, go ahead. Uh, Latino life for 200. Latino life for 200. What percentage of the student body is Latin American? Whoever is the closest mm. wins. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Take a stab. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pope. Uh, I would say 40%. Correct answer is you are very Ooh, close. Oh, 36. 36. Well done. <laughs> All right, the last question in our game. Here we go. 
Ms. Dominguez, take it away. Based on recent uh, survey, which country makes the best tasting on this one? <laughs> Venezuela. Oh, the Kirk is. Oh! <laughs> that was all a battle. Right. And that concludes <laughs> our game. Congratulations, all contestants. Who is our winner? Do we have a score tally? We do not. We are all winners. There we go. Trophies all around. <laughs> Thank you guys for participating this year in our special Jeopardy game. See you later, guys. Bye. I'm Jillian Perez. And I'm Madison Radis. And, and this, this is, is your Bobcat, Bobcat News signing off.